okay let us give the product for the following reaction so i will show you the reactant so let me draw here so 7.43 so question number 7.43 we have so what we have so i have a four member ring this side and this side also i have a four member ring and then i have a uh, basically bridge head something like this this goes and there is something like this I think we have copied this one and then here I have CH2OH and if I treat this compound with H plus some heating is also there this means I have to write an alkene so let me give you the final product is an alkene you have to give me the final product using the mechanism you can derive the product basically uh, in this case you will get a product that is not a set of product you will get a something that is a different than set of product so let us try to derive this product with the mechanism what will happen in the first step you will generate CH2 plus let us take some one minute time so that you can try so let us try I will give you a hint first make a carbocation then rearrange the carbocation and then lose H plus then you will get a alkene so let us take 30 seconds time Okay, let us see. So you have something like this. Now what will happen in the first step? You will make a carbocation CH2 OH2 plus. So let me write OH2 plus. And you will lose this one. And then you will have a primary carbocation. So you have something like this. So you will have CH2 plus. Now this is a 1 degree carbocation. What can I do next is, now I want to rearrange this carbocation. Now if you see, this side I go, how many carbon we have? 1, 2. If I go this side, how many carbon we have? 1, 2. If I go this side, 1, 2. So this means these three rings are equivalent. Either I shift this bond, or I shift this bond, or even I shift this bond, all are the same situation. So either I shift this bond, are you getting? Or I shift this bond, or even I shift this bond. Three, uh, this bond, the upper bond, we will get the same situation. No any other choice. So I have only one choice. Any bond I can shift. So let us try to shift this bond. If I shift this bond, what will be the product we will have? Let us call this one, two, three. Now this carbon and this carbon will be connected. So let us call this a four. And let us call five. This is six. This is seven. So let us draw. Uh, between one and so you will have one, two, three. 4, 5, so how many ring? 5 member ring. So this side will have a 5 member ring. So let us make a 5 member ring this side. Are you getting? And this side will have a 4 member ring. And here will have a uh, something like this. Are you getting? So this side you have, so let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, and here will be 5, here will be 6, 7. Try to see what we have done. 3 is attached to 4. So I have joined 3 and 4. So 3 and 4 are joined. And 4, and so let us say 4 is joined to the 5. So 4 is joined to the 5. 5 has 2, 2 rings. This ring, top one, and this ring. So this is connected to the 2 rings. This is one ring. And this is another ring, 4 member ring. Now see, the positive charge will appear of carbon number 5. So carbon number 5, you see, we have broken one bond. So it will contain the positive charge. Now here I have a hydrogen. So there is a hydrogen hydrogen also now you see in this case 
this is a very unstable carbocation because positive charge on bridge head so this has to be sp2 hybridized carbocation is sp2 hybridized but it is not possible geometry does not permit to have a bond angle of 120 degree so this is very a strand carbocation very a strand carbocation very a strand angle strand so we have a high angle strand in this case are you getting now what we can do is in the next step if i do a hydride shift i have two option i can shift a hydride from here or i can shift a hydride from here so if i shift a hydride from this side i will have a double bond in seven member ring that is slightly less a strand if i shift hydride from this side i will have a double bond in four member ring that is not a good situation so let us try to shift this one if i shift this hydride this side so what we will have so this side i will have a five member ring are you getting and this side you will have a four member ring and here you have a something like this are you getting now at five at four you will have a positive charge are you getting or not so if you remove from four one hydrogen will have four positive charge now you see you have two option now here you have a hydrogen if i i have to lose h plus so that i can get an alkene if i lose this h plus i will have double bond here but now once again this will become sp2 hybridized car alkene is sp2 hybridized so this is not permit by the uh, angle strain so i have only one option i have to lose h plus from here if i lose h plus from here what we will have i will have a seven mem six member ring a uh, five member ring this and here i have a ring i think you have written this one and then there is a double bond are you getting or not so i will have this compound now see somebody can thought that i should have make the double bond if you make double bond here you will have a major substituted product but that is not the case that will be a substituted acid a product because you have a double bond there is more substituted but that is not the case because if i make a double bond here this carbon becomes sp2 hybridized that does not permit so i can say i cannot have a set a product set a product is not set a product is restricted by angle strain so i can say set a product Z-J product is restricted by angle strain. I cannot have restricted by angle strain. So this time Z-J product is not the major product. Are you getting? We are getting an alkene, but this double bond is in a five-membered ring, and this is not a Z-J. This is not major substitute. It's not major sub. This double bond is not major substituted. You see, if you have a double bond here, that double bond will be more substituted. One alkyl group, another alkyl group. This also, so this is a tri substituted. Now this is only di substituted. This side you have hydrogen. This side also you have hydrogen. So this is only di substituted alkene. So this is di substituted. So you see what we have done is so what are the driving force in this reaction? The first part is easy. We have so let us write from the top and then we slowly slowly keep down. So now see. first part is easy i have to make a carbocation now i have to this is a primary carbocation 1 degree carbocation very unstable i have to rearrange this carbocation to rearrange this carbocation i have option either i can shift this double this alkyl group or this alkyl group or this alkyl group these three alkyl groups are basically equivalent because all contains a four member ring so this is also part of four member ring this is also a part of four member ring this is also part of four member so if we, if you shift any of the alkyl group there is no problem now let us shift this alkyl group if you shift this one now this side if you shift this side so this will become so this ring will become five membered so you have to make a five membered ring this side and now there is a positive charge now this positive charge is not a stabilized because of the angular strain carbocation is sp2 hybridized now this is sp2 hybridized but the angular strain does not permit that this angle should be 120 but that is not possible because at bridge head i cannot have a 120 angle this is a The geometry does not permit angle of 120. So I have to soon, as soon as this is formed, this is basically unstable. As soon as this carbocation will be formed, this will rearrange, and this will be rearranged by hydride shift. And then in the na next case, if you lose H plus from here, that will not the case because double bond that is formed, that is sp2 hybridized. Once again, the angle does not permit that I can have a sp2 hybridization here. So I have to lose H plus from here. so i think if we lose h plus from here we will get a less substituted product that is not a sedge product i think all of you have 
help to understand so let us copy this one then we will go for the next problem Okay, I think you have copied this one. Let us go for the next problem. <coughs> 